Hi guys, how are you today? Welcome to your English class. My name is Perla Quetzali. I hope you enjoy and you will learn a lot. Remember that you have to take notes about this video. And if you have any question or any doubt, please write it and let me know through the Zoom class. So today we are going to start working on the last unit from your book, Stopwatch 1. And this is going to be unit 8. And the title is, What do you love doing? During this week, we are going to work on the vocabulary part. And the objective is students will be able to use vacation activities vocabulary to talk about things that they love to do. So I would like to start the class with this question. What do you love doing? Please let me know your answers during the virtual class. So as I told you before, today we are going to learn the new vocabulary. So please take notes. You have to write the vocabulary and you can write the definition or if you prefer, you can write a examples or if you have time, you can do a drawing about the related with the vocabulary as you prefer. So let's start. The first is going to be cook. Cook is when you cook food. That means that you prepare it to be eaten. And here we have some examples using this word. I don't cook meat very often. Let the fish cook for an hour before you add the wine. Don't cook vegetables for too long. They lose all their goodness. And here we have another expression that we are going to learn during this unit. That is get a tan. Tan is a light brown color that we get when we are under the sun for a, a long time. So get a tan is when some people who spend a lot of time outside in the sun end up with a tan. That means a dark skin tone that they usually have, like in the photos. Here we have another new vocabulary that is go climbing. The sport of climbing on rocks or in mountains. Would you like to try it? Yes or no? Let me know during the virtual class. And here we have another, that is go shopping. To go shopping means that your intentions are to buy things because you want to or because you need a new version of something. So, for example, when you go to a veranda or Plaza Cuernavaca, eh, you go shopping because you want to buy a new dress or sneakers or jeans. So, that means go shopping. When you, when you go, to buy, uh, to buy a things because you want to, or maybe because you, you, you need a new version of something like a new cell phone or new laptop or something new that refers to go shopping. And here we have some examples using this phrase. Would you get some coffee when you go shopping? I hope to go shopping on Saturday. I couldn't go shopping yesterday, so I'll have to go today. I don't want to go shopping on my own. Shall we go together? Most people now use their cards to go shopping. I have to go shopping this afternoon. There should be plenty of time to go shopping before we leave New York. I need to go shopping this afternoon. The next one is go snorkeling. Snorkeling is a practice of swimming on or through a body of water while equipped with a diving mask, like in the pictures. We also wear a shape burning tube that is called snorkel, like this, 
and usually swim fins like these ones. In cool waters, a wetsuit may also be warm. And here we have our sentences using this expression. We went snorkeling in Hawaii. Remember, I highlight this word in red because remember that went is a past of go. So that's why remember that we can use this, this phrase in future past, but you have to write the verb go in the correct uh, form. In this case, we write when because it's past. Yes, we went snorkeling in Hawaii. And here we have another expression that is go surfing. Surfing is a sport of riding on a wave on a special board, like in the pictures. Would you like to try it surfing? Yes or no? Me, maybe yes. And I wrote uh, some examples using this expression. A, let's go to the beach and go surfing. If you guys aren't doing anything, well, I'm gonna go surfing. And, sorry, I want to go surfing. So here we have another a phrase that we are going to learn during this unit that is go swimming the activity or a sport of swimming uh, that refers to move through water by moving the body or parts of the body and i wrote some sentences using this expression in summer we used to go swimming in the river you know you are not allowed to go swimming in the river you want to go swimming in the ocean? Here we have another expression that we are going to learn during this unit. That is go water skin. And this is a an sport in which you are pulled along the surface of the water by a boat while balancing on pairs of skis, like in the pictures. And here we have an example using this expression. Go water skiing. We took the moor boat to the lake to go water skiing this weekend. And here we have another sentences that we are going to use during this unit. That is, leap weights. That means to exercise by lifting heavy objects such as barbells in order to become stronger, like in the picture. And the last one is play miniature golf. So now we are going to work on page 112. If you have your book, please open. If you don't have, don't worry, we are going to work here on the screen and says look at the photos what kind of occasion is it so we are going to read and then we are going to answer exercise number three so here we have sea adventures offers a lot of options for you for you to spend time on land or at sea so here we have a number one Classes. Take a cooking class in your free time. We have two experts on board. Yashimi Harakumi, a sushi master from Kyoto, and Paolo Castanella, a pizza chef from Rome. Rome. We also offer yoga classes for beginners and experts. Rak is a yoga instructor with many years of experience. And here we have number two or go to one of our gyms. We have three. And lift weights or use our exercise equipment. Go swimming in our salt water pool. Go climbing on our climbing wall. 
There is one on deck outside in the sun. And here we have number five. Play miniature golf or volleyball with friends. And here we have on land. Sea adventures stops in several in several ports. You can go shopping for souvenirs, listen to live music, or relax on beach where you can get a tan. You can do water sports as well, snorkeling, water skiing, and surfing with instructor is available. On board entertainment, and in the evening you can eat at different restaurants, go to the movies, or see a show. There is also a salsa club for our dancers. So now we are going to do the exercise number three as a homework. What do you have to do? You have to read and you have to underline the correct meaning. In this case, you are going to write lifting weights and you are going to write the correct meaning. Yes, if it's A or is B. If it's snorkeling, what is swimming underwater to see fish? or flowing in water to relax. So you are going to write the correct answer in your notebook. This is gonna be homework, yes? So you have to read and you have to choose or under, underline the correct meaning. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy, you learn, and I'll see you during the virtual class. Thank you so much and bye-bye.